What's going on, everyone? Welcome to week 14 of the NFL season in the FanDuel Hurry Up. I'm Brandon Gadula. I'm the managing editor at numberfire.com, and I'm going to be breaking down my three favorite stacks for the week 14 main slate. My top stack of the week is Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs, and I know that this stack will require some savings at other positions, but that's all right. We do have value at tight end, uh, wide receiver as well, potentially some running back spots um, additionally. Uh, and simply put, the Bills and Buccaneers is just the game of the week. Allen does draw a top eight adjusted pass defense, and his sample against top 12 defense is kind of small this year. Just three, including the Patriots last week in the wind, and I'm going to exclude that game because of the wind. Uh, being such a factor. I know it's a two-game sample against good defenses then, but uh, Allen's been great in that split. Uh, 307 yards per game, uh, three and a half passing touchdowns per game, eight and a half rushes per game. We'll take that. Uh, as for Diggs, over the past four games with Dawson Knox back in the lineup, has a stellar 29% target share with two and a half downfield, two red zone targets per game, with a 57% end zone target share as well. Uh, we'll take that. My second stack of the week Sticking with this game, uh, Tom Brady and Rob Gronkowski. The Bills are the top adjusted pass defense in football, according to number of virus metrics, but that does not mean that we can't go with Tom Brady in our stacks. He has played two top four adjusted pass defenses this season, and he's torched them. 324 yards per game, two touchdowns per game, uh, and a 9.7 yard A dot. Uh, that's great. Uh, Brady in four games against teams top 10 in pressure rate. Buffalo is third. 23 and a half Fandle points per game was still a nine yard a dot and actually a longer time to throw by a tinge uh, than his his rate outside this split so they're really able to figure out how to navigate these matchups again as for the stack candidate I'm trending toward Rob Gronkowski over the receivers the bills are the top opponent adjusted defense against receivers this year but they're just 18th against tight ends according to my data Gronk in his two games back with a snap rate backup has a 21 percent target share team high 32 percent air yard share 40% of the team's end zone targets. As for my value stack this week, uh, it's Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase for now. Uh, if Joe Burrow is unhealthy, uh, I would be fine pivoting to Russell Wilson and either of his receivers this week. But this is a really good spot. This game, uh, the 49ers Bengals game, way better than the Seahawks game uh, for this week. San Francisco does rank seventh in adjusted pass defense at number fire, but there's still a lot to like with Burrow. Just two top half adjusted pass defenses faced, but uh, 291 yards, one and a half touchdowns per game in those. Jamar Chase has been slightly out-targeted by T. Higgins in games that they were both healthy. Higgins, though, now has a tweaked ankle. Jamar Chase has uh, talked about maybe being moved around more within this offense, and it's a good downfield matchup uh, as well, which is where Jamar Chase really thrives. The 49ers, 18th in passing, dot allowed. 22nd in yards per target uh, allowed on downfield passes. So we could see some extra work funnel Chase's way, uh, including downfield work, and that sets up really well for a value stack. That'll do it for my favorite NFL stacks for the week. Best of luck in week 14. Let's double dip on those touchdown passes on Sunday. Mm -hmm.